let we move on to lesson number 5 where the lesson number 5 is based on the condition called odd positions and even positions right let me move on to the first question friends how many ways the word detail be arranged in such a way that vowels should occupy only odd positions so friends similarly a word is given that is detail and our target the vowel should only occupy the odd position so according to the condition we need to say how many ways the word can be written so friends listen carefully we know that totally one two three four five six there are six letters in a given word and just one two three four five six so one two three four five six and uh, they are talking about vowel should occupy the odd portion just see how many vowels are there friends so the vowels are e a i right so the vowels are e a i so friends this three three vowels that is e a i should occupy only odd position and see how many odd positions are there so one three and five right so friends listen carefully there are three odd position and in this three odd position we need to place this three vowel that is e a i so totally there are three places and we need to place this three vowels so three p three and the remaining consonants friends that is uh, d t uh, l can be placed in the even letters that is two four six in any different ways right so that can be written as three factorial friends got the logic this three vowel should be placed in the odd positions right the odd positions are one three and five so there are three letters and there are three odd positions so three p three and the remaining consonants that is d t l can be placed d can be placed in two or d can be placed in four or d can be placed in six right so the remaining three consonants can be placed in three different ways that is three factorial ways so answer is three factorial so three p three can be written as three factorial divided by three minus three zero factorial friends the value of zero factorial is one so we can say that three factorial into three factorial that is three factorial is six into six the answer will be 36 so finally we got the answer 36 clear on the concept so let me move on to some of the examples so that you can easily uh, understand the concept called odd portion and even portions let me move on to question number two how many ways the word mission can be arranged in such a way that vowels occupy only odd positions so friends similarly they have given a word mission and we need to write vowels only on the odd portion and we need to see how many ways this mission the word mission can be arranged so friends first of all see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right there are seven letters in the word mission so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so friends listen carefully they are talking about vowel should occupy the odd positions right so what are all the vowels are there friends a i e right friends listen carefully a i e is the vowels and the remaining are m c h n are the consonants right how many odd positions are there 1 3 5 and 7 friends listen carefully there are four odd positions right in this four odd position we need to place only three vowels got the point because they have told that vowels occupy only odd position but in the previous case we have only three places and three vowels so we can place it as 3p3 but here there are four places and there are only three vowels so this can be written as 4p3 friends you got the point four places and we need to place this three vowels that is a i e friends understand the concept how many even numbers are there that is the remaining places that is two and the remaining number is four and remaining is six you should not write as three factorial why because listen carefully we have placed only three vowels in the odd numbers right if i place a here if i place i if i place e definitely one place will be remaining similarly if i write in the third portion that is a if i write in the fifth portion i if i write in the seventh portion e definitely here the first place there won't be any letter so friends out of this four places that is four odd places we have placed this three vowel definitely one place will be remaining and here two four three the three even places are remaining so in the odd places one is remaining and there are three even places remaining so totally there are four places remaining in this four places we need to place this four consonant in four factorial ways so the answer is four factorial so the answer is four p three into four factorial understand the logic friend first of all we have seen how many many vowels are there so a i e there are three vowels and we have wrote the vowels here and we have wrote the consonants separately and we know that there are one 
3, 5, 7. There are 4 odd position. So, in this 4 odd position, we need to place the 3 vowel. So, 4, P, 3. And friends, listen carefully. If I place in the 4 places only 3 vowels, definitely 1 place will be remaining in the odd positions, right? And we know that 2, 4, 6. There are 3 even places remaining. Already 1 odd place remaining. And here 3 even place remaining. So, totally there are 4 places. In this 4 places, we are going to place this 4 consonant. That is 4 factorial base. So, 4, P, 3 can be written as 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 that is 1 factorial into 4 factorial. So 4 factorial will be 24 into 24 the answer will be 576. So finally we got the answer 576. Let me move on to question number 3. How many ways the word pounding be arranged in such a way that vowel should always occupy only odd positions right. It is an interesting question. See here friends P O U N D I N G. So 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 letters in the given question, right? And they are talking about vowels should occupy only odd positions. Just see what all the vowels are they? U, uh, O, U and O, then I, right? So there are 3 vowels that is O, U and I. What about the remaining consonant that is P, N, D, N, uh, G, right? So these are the remaining consonants. We need to place this three vowels in the odd positions, right? See how many odd positions are there? 1, 3, 5 and 7. Totally there are four odd positions. In this four positions, we need to place this three vowel. So this can be written as 4P3. So friends, if in this four places, if I place only three vowels, then definitely one place will be remaining, right? And see how many even places are there? So 2, 4, 6 and 8. So totally there are 4 even portions remaining. We already know that 1 odd portion remaining. So totally there are 5 places remaining. In this 5 places we are going to place this 5 consonants that is P, N, D, N, G. So the answer is 4 P 3 into 5 factorial. But you should not stop here. Why? Because in previous two cases, there is no repeated letters. But in this case, where we can see 2 times n, whenever you find any repeated letter, divided by 2 factor. Why? Because there are 2 times n is repeated. According to rule number 1, that is lesson number 1, if any letter is repeated, right, divided by the corresponding factorial, right. So, friends, the concept is always remember that just see how many odd portions are there and how many vowels are there. So, in this odd portion, we need to place this vowel. If any place is remaining, just finally count and write the total factorial should be placed from the remaining letters. So friends, similarly, we know that 1, 3, 5, 7, there are 4 odd portions, but only 3 vowels. That is 4, P, 3. Definitely 1 odd portion will be remaining. And here 2, 4, 6, 8, there are 4 even portions remaining. Already 1 portion is remaining. So there are totally 5 portions are remaining. So in this 5 positions, we need to place this 5 consonant, that is 5 factorial base. But in previous cases, there is no repeated letters but in this case where you can find two letters are repeated that is n so divided by two factorial so after solving this you will get an answer i hope you have enjoyed this lesson number five just kindly go and watch all the lesson you will be definitely strong in the concept called permutation